A register in electronics is a set of flip-flops that can store a binary number. A shifter register is one which accepts a binary number and shifts data to right or left. When the clock pulse represented by state 0 or 1 is given to one flip-flop and if it is shifted towards right, then it is called a right shift register and when the state is shifted towards left, it is called a left shift register. Today, we use IC7495 on a trainer kit to execute shift register operation. IC7495 is a 4-bit parallel access shift register and can be used as right or a left shift register. Next, we'll go to the theory, pin configuration and circuit connections of a left and a right shift registers. Next, let's have a look at the pin configuration of a uh, IC7495. So this is a IC7495 uh, and it is a 14 pin. It is having a 14 pin configuration and it is also it is a negative red triggered IC. So here if we start from uh, the groove from the side of the groove it is pin number 1. Then pin 1 is used for a serial input. Then pin 2, 3, 4 and 5 are used as a inputs and pin 6 is used as a mode control pin uh, which is used either at a 0 state or a 1 state accordingly uh, as we used uh, as we use it as a right or a left shift register. Then pin 7 is used for ground, then 8 and 9 are used for clock input, then from 10 to 13 the pins are used for output connection that is 10 for QD bit, then QC, uh, 11 for QC, 12 for QB, 13 for QA and 14 as we know that is for a plus VCC connection. So that's about the pin configuration. Next let's uh, see how this pins are connected for a uh, right pin shifter, uh, right shifter register using this. IC7495. Next, let's pass on to uh, the pin connections of IC7495 to act as a right shift register. Starting from pin 1, it acts as a serial input. We give input to pin 1, either 0 or 1. Then 2 is unconnected. We use it, uh, we leave it free. Then 3 is connected to 13, which is connected to QA. Then 4 is connected to 12 which is connected to QB. Then 5 is connected to this way connected to 11 which is connected to QC. Then from 10 QD is direct. It is connected to QD directly. Then as we know uh, 6 is a control mode pin which is uh, for the right shift register it is given logic 0. 7 is grounded. Then uh, pin 8 is unconnected. Then clock input is given at uh, pin 9. Then we explained, um, we have explained uh, the pins 10 to 13. Uh, the connection also have been explained. Uh, and uh, for pin 14 is given plus VCC. Next we'll pass on to uh, the experimental part. Next we'll check out the tooth table of a right shift register. Here this is a 4 bit binary number represented by 4 bits QA, QB, QC, QD. In the experiment this 4 bits, uh, bits QA, QB, QC, uh, QD are uh, represented uh, indicated by 4 LEDs as you have seen. Then uh, let us check out the positional weight, uh, weight of a uh, this binary number, 4 bits of binary number that is QA has a positional weight Q raised to 0, then QB has Q, 2 raised to 1, QC 2 raised to 2 and QD has 2 raised to 3. So it's clear QD has a positional weight much greater than QA by a variation of a 2 raised to 1. So if we give a data to QA, 
uh, as a clock pulse or a square wave clock clock pulses at the next and also don't forget this uh, 7495 uh, ic is a negative edge triggered ic and the next uh, negative edge uh, this data from q is shifted to uh, next digit that is towards right uh, next bit towards right that is qb then at the next negative edge uh, this data from QB shifted to QC that is again towards right. Then at the next negative edge of the clock pulse QC data of QC is shifted to QB. So it goes like that. That is from left to right. That is why we call it right shifter register. Next we will check out the truth table of a right shifter register. When the logic 1 is given to input that is at QA, QA becomes 1. All other bits uh, remain at uh, initial state uh, 0, 0, 0. And then at the next if, negative edge of the clock pulse, this Q, data of QA is shifted to QB and two other remain at a uh, initial state. The next uh, negative edge, uh, this QB, data of QB shifted to QC, QD at uh, 0. And uh, at the next uh, negative edge, uh, then data of a QC is shifted to QD. So all the four bits uh, become one. Next, uh, if we give zero logic input, uh, QA becomes zero and all other three bits uh, remain at an initial stage. That is initial stage now here is one, one, one. Then at the next negative edge, uh, this state of QA shifted to QB and it goes. Uh, and uh, QC and QB uh, remain in the initial stage. The next uh, uh, at negative edge of the clock pulse, uh, then QC, QB is shifted to QC, then QD remain at 1. Then finally, at the next negative edge of the clock pulse, uh, uh, this uh, QC is shifted to QD. Thus, finally, all the four bits become 0. So, it will be more clear uh, when we go through uh, the waveform of a, a light shift register. In the number 7495, we have a right shift register in the connection. This is the same as 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 the the same as the same the same as the same as the same as the 10 is in Q D in A to the Kia. input to work another, you would have one nil number serial input to the Kia. Pinna seven ground A the Tendi, either A and the connections. For right shift register, number the input to high word to the Rangale, input to high word to the Rangale, number the Yanam Q A in Q D lake, right to load to one shift Yana. Input 0 is the QA and QD right to load 0 shift. This is the output. Now we will input high. 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 Input Zero Q A zero two second initiation Q B zero Q C zero Q D zero. Upon that is zero right to load to shift to do one node the polar one right to load to shift to do that is right shift to register and output. Here is a pin con pin connection of a left shift to register using sign four. 95. The first difference is uh, in left shift register, pin 1 is left free. Then from 2, it is connected to 12. Then uh, from 3, it is connected to 11. Then 4, it is connected to 10. Then from 12, it is connected to QB. Then 11 to QZ. Then 10 to QD. Then 13 pin 13 is directly connected to Q. 
QA. So that's the difference. And uh, five, the uh, another difference from uh, right shift register is uh, uh, to five at a five, pin five we are giving input uh, at a pin five. So the input is given at a pin five. Then uh, pin six, which is mode control pin, uh, is given logic one. It is at a high state. Uh, seven is grounded. Then another difference is. Um, Clock input is given at 8, not at 9. In the left uh, right shift register, it was at 9 and 8 left free. Now here, clock at 8 and 9 left free. Then here, we have gone through 10 to 13 and at 14 plus VCC is given. So, that's about the uh, pin con uh, connection of a left shift register. Next, we will pass on to two table of a left shift register. For left shift register, the only difference is the data is shifted from QD to QA, that is towards left. The input is given at a QD. The logic is simple and similar to right shift register. So, go through the table and find out how does it work. We will connect the connection to the IC7495 to the left shift register. The connection to the left shift register is 14 plus VCC and 7 ground. We will connect the left shift register to the left shift register. We will connect the connection to the 2 and 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 2 10 ilaki 10 il ninnu nammal qd 13 neritt nammal qa ilaki kodukana appo output section kaiyu qa qb qc qd ini adil ninnu 8 il ninnana nammal endu edirikkunathu clock koduthirikkunathu 8 il ninnu nammal clock koduthittund ini adu pole 6 6 nu parayunathu left shift register il 6 nu parayunathu mode control pin high a irikkanam Right shift register le mode control pin is 6 and the low iron, 0 iron. Left shift is the number mode control pin is 6 and the high or the tender. In the angel, the number in the old thick in the input delay. As you input a yellow serial input, angel in the number input delay. The connections are the same. Left shift register now put delay. Left shift register and right shift register we will put input and we will put input high or low. Then input 1 and 0. We will input here. We will put input here. We will put input serial input 5 and we will input here. Output here. The output is QA, QB, QC, QD. Right here is the output here. QA, QB, QC, QD. Right here is the output here. QA, QB, QC, QD. इनि नम्मले input high आणु कोड़ुक्कुन्न देंगील, अधा इदु 1 आणु कोड़ुक्कुन्न देंगील, नम्मले का output विट्टेंडदु, नम्मके इंदी येनाम, left load 1, left load high shift येनाम, left load 1 shift येनाम, left load 1 shift येनाम, left load 1 shift येनाम, QD इलननन, QA इलेके आणु 1 shift येनाम, அதின் சேசம் QB, 2 செக்கனில் சேசம் QB, HII, அவன் சானமான QA, 2 செக்கனில் சேசம் QA, HII. இனி நமுக்கு LED, 1 கொடுத்தோக்காம். அதனிது இன்புட்டு HII கொடுத்தோக்காம். இன்னும் நமுக்கு ரெண்டாம்து இன்புட்டாயே 0 கொடுக்காம். அப்பு இன்புட்டில் 0 கொடுத்து கழின்னால் QD இல்லுந்து QA இல்லைக்கி Leftில் ஓட்டு 0 shift இயனம் 1 shift இருத்து போல 0 shift இயனம் இனி நம் கத்துந்து காணம் 0 உடுக்கானு QD 0 I 2 second session QC 0 QB QA Thus we can construct both right and left shift registers using IC7495 and verify their truth table and please note, every experiment is expression of your practical skill. So be curious about the ideas and concepts behind every practical experiment.